The coronavirus pandemic is ongoing around the world, and most people have been following the social distance guideline for weeks. But the economy also hurt by social distancing, people are losing jobs and income. People need to go to work to feed themselves. But people do not want to get infected by this deadly virus at work or on the way to work. So the time to open the society relies on the data. Today let's introduce a method to estimate the reliability of the data. It is called Benford's Law. First, let's assume there is a data set of numerical data generated naturally without any artificial manipulation. What is the frequency distribution of leading digits in this data set? Usually, people would assume that naturally generated data is uniformly distributed. That says, for each of the nine leading digits, from 1 to 9, occurs with a probability of 1 ninth, that is 11.111%. But in the real world, such data sets usually have many more numbers with 1 as the leading digit, often goes up to 30%. For each of the nine leading digits, from 1 to 9, occurs with a probability on a logarithmic scale. More precisely, the probability of a number with n as its leading digit, n between 1 to 9, is log n plus 1 divided by n. Let's take the real world population data for example. Of the 241 different countries and regions, 72 of them has a population number with the leading digit as 1, that says the probability is 29.9%, which fits the Benford's law. Another example is the real-world GDP data. Of the 191 different countries and regions, 64 of them has a GDP number with the leading digit as 1, that says the probability is 33.5% which also fits the Benford's law. So what is the science behind this phenomenon? That is because many data sets are exponentially growing or decaying data. The data doubles in a fixed time with a fixed growth rate. That says, the current number, n, equals, the original number, n naught, times, the growth rate, r, to the power of the past time, t. So the past time, t, equals, log, n, divided by, n naught. The coronavirus data is indeed an exponentially growing data. People are infected by other confirmed cases. The growth rate, r naught, which is the equal number of people infected by a confirmed case. The exact number of r naught varies, because of different measures introduced by different authorities at different time. But it doesn't change the fact that the coronavirus data should satisfy Benford's law exactly. So by checking the data with the Benford's law, people should be able to see if the data is reliable.